child. I'm trying to read for the cancers. Now this can't, this ain't going to resonate with every cancer out there. And if it doesn't come back next week, Merry Christmas, cancers, and happy new years so cancers we are going to take a look at your challenge what you don't see coming the past the present and the future okay some of you are challenged by the queen of coins and she's a married woman she's also a financially stable woman and she could also represent someone who already has a significant other like a wife or a live-in lover she also represents marriage. So your challenge could be like there was one cancer who was getting married to this guy and then he called off the wedding, but, um, you know, they're still together. So it's just the challenge is when are we going to get married? All right. What you don't see coming is the Queen of Cups. So I feel like you're really going to fall in love with someone and someone is really gonna fall in love with you. What you don't see coming is that you're going to be in love with someone, right? And I feel like your person who you're having a problem, you're getting a problem with committing to, I feel like they love you and they're going to uh, realize that. I feel like in the past you get the Nine of Cups, which is the recent past, the Nine of Cups. Something happened that made you very joyful. I don't know if it was a job you got, a child, um, uh, you know, new work, it's happiness in the relationship. The Nine of Cups represent wish fulfillment. Um, but the present is the Five of Coins. Like you feel sad, you're not getting all that you want and all that you need, maybe from this this relationship with this person who you love right who uh, makes you happy nine of cups who you want to settle down with right maybe they don't live with you and and you want them to maybe you guys are not married and you want to get married you know well I know this cancer in Libra right do I see Libra yeah I, I know this cancer in Libra and the Libra actually loves the cancer Queen of Cups, right? And the Cancer is ready to settle down and have a relationship, right? But the Libra just got out of a three-year relationship with somebody who cheated on her night and day and who uh, she got out of the relationship 30 days ago and now the girl is engaged and plastered it all over social media. Okay, because this is a lesbian couple. So the Cancer is hurt. She feels left out in the cold. She feels disowned. Uh, she could be financially challenged too. The particular Libra is living in a hotel. So, I mean, she can't really give to the Cancer right now because she's kind of out in the cold trying to figure things out. She needs um, a place to stay and she needs a job. She don't want to just get out of this relationship for three years and go move in with the Cancer, right? So, but I do feel like when that lever gets on her feet, she's going to exalt the cancer as her woman um, in the near future. I also feel that way for the lady who broke up, the guy broke up with you, he got cold feet and you guys were supposed to be getting married and he just got a new job, right? Uh, I do feel like after, there might be a period of time, the queen of swords is here with the knight of swords. There might be, you know, there's something kind of cold about the swords so there's going to be a cold period but I do feel that this man is in love with you and that eventually you will be his wife so if you're single and you are challenged with not having anybody that will marry you it really looks like you are seriously wife material like you are ready somebody would be lucky to have you it looks like what you don't see coming is you're going to fall in love and uh, you're single, so you don't see that coming at all. But I definitely feel either you're already in love with someone and you're single and you're still trying to get over them, or I see you falling in love with someone, all right? And it looks like right now you're, you're kind of single, getting your money together. Maybe money is a little rough right now. Maybe you're trying to look for a job or find a, a direction for your life right now. Okay, you don't know which direction to go to, but I feel like you're going to figure it out with the Queen of Wands and be on top of your game. It's just like you just need a break. I feel like this person who wanted to get married and he took a break, I, 
or you know they called off the wedding or whatever they're just taking a break if you're single I definitely feel you're going to be getting your money together and then you're going to get on top of your game financially you it's just going to be a minute but I definitely feel like you're going to be in love with someone here all right now, the Queen of Pentacles could also represent someone who's married. So some of you could be uh, dating a married man or a married woman. Okay. Now, see, this is the problem with dating someone who's already married, right? If he or she is a cheater, then he or she is a liar. And the number one lie that married people like to tell the mistress or the side chick or the side dick is that they're getting a divorce or they're coming out of the relationship that they're in. Usually though, the number one lie that married cheaters tell is that some way, somehow they're in the process of getting a divorce. Okay. The world they tell the cancer thinks that the married man is in the process of getting a divorce for some of you, right? And this whole idea of, we, you know, we're getting a divorce is a pretty standard, universal, basic, elementary ABCs to dating a married man. All of them are so-called getting a divorce, all right? All of them are. <laughs> well, you know, we're in litigations. Well, well, we were getting a divorce, but, you know, the cow dropped some manure and my toenail broke. And so, yeah, they're always in the process of, I mean, they got a safe, you got a safe face somehow. They got to tell you, give you some type of hope. You know, I mean, if you knew the truth, which is, you know, married men are usually not in the market to find a wife. If a married man is out catting, it's because he wants a piece of ass. And if you don't know that, you might be a little on the naive side. Well, no, I feel like my married man is very sincere. And married men love women like that. They love, uh, you know, like women who are naive and not street smart and kind of gullible because all married men makes you think that they're getting a divorce. Another thing that they lie about a lot is uh, we sleep in separate bedrooms and we don't have sex. Uh, they tell, I've heard that as many times as I've heard that they're getting a divorce. What else do they lie about and say, oh, when the kids get older, um, me and you are going to be together. Right, you know, married men, you know, they lie, 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 lie. But yes, a married man is not in the market of uh, finding a wife. Now, if you are dating a married man, I see the wife, the queen of pentacles. I also see you, the queen of cups but i also see this chick i don't know who she is the queen of wands looks like uh he got the hots for her and i also see this other chick who might be at a distance but he talks to her too and i see the six of coins which means this married guy gives over here gives over there right and he loves all of you and, and you know and each side chick thinks that you know they have a high hierarchy with all the women if the married man is a seasoned cheater you don't know about the other chicks but best believe honey if a man is gonna cheat on his wife he most certainly is gonna cheat on his side chick right he this, this is an issue this person has a a character flaw so yeah, you know, some of them will have you think that, oh, this person is so horrible to me and they will vilify their partner and it makes you want to run to the partner to the person and, and, and rescue them and get them and help them, you know, cause they're so tortured. But I ain't never known a man that was someplace that he didn't want to be. For every reason that the married person tells you that he's staying, there's been millions of people in that same situation who left anyway because that's what they wanted to do. So the married man is at the house with the wife because that's where he wants to be. And he ain't trying to, he ain't thinking about leaving. Neither is the married woman. I remember one time um, 
I was dating this chick, right? And I really liked her. She was a Taurus. I liked her so much. But she was upfront and she told me that uh, she was in a relationship. But, you know, even though they tell you that they're in a relationship, they make it seem like, you know, may maybe you could take me, you could be the next Mrs. or the next Mr. Oh, I'm trying to get out of this situation. And I got a reading and the lady says, she ain't going nowhere. She said, they have a lot of fun with each other. In fact, they're thinking about buying another house. So, you know, the, I don't know what, the, you know, if, if he's a cheater, he's a liar. And so you don't know what the truth is. But I'm telling you, with these cards, he is not thinking about a divorce. So one woman said something in the comment section. She said that the man had been married for 46 years and she came back to town waiting for him to get a divorce. See, side chicks a lot of times have mental disorders, right? Like that is bizarre to think that somebody who's been with a woman for 46 years is going to leave this woman. See, this man who is married or this woman who's married, their partner, knows their philandering ways and accepts that about them. If this person were to leave their wife or husband to be with you, they would have to cut out all their other side chicks. Why would they do that when they have a wife who won't leave, who's not going anywhere, who allows them to have as many women as they want? Um, and, and why would they leave her and come to you where they have to cut it all off? Because of your connection? But because you guys have had these past lives in Egypt and, and ancient Ireland? You, you really think that a man is going to leave his status, his home, his equity, his 401k, his, um, uh, his security, his stability, his children, his legacy, his comfort, because... You guys have a connection? No, 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 no. Men don't think like that. He figures, well, I can get that same connection elsewhere. Now, a woman would leave for that, but a man is not going to leave for that. They're very logical. They're masculine. They don't think with their emotions. If it doesn't make sense, they're not going to do it. All right. Now, if you are coming to the table bringing millions, like if you were somebody like Rihanna or Beyonce, where you could give them a record deal, a new job, a new, I mean, you know, you bring in something that the rest see. Some of you are dealing with a man who, who it got a whole bunch of women that are like me and you, there's a whole bunch of them. And they see these other women or other people or other men, because it can be vice versa, are all coming in as queens. They're not even coming in as pages. So it's like, what is so special about this connection that like one woman in the comment section, you know, she was like, oh, we had this marvelous time and, you know, he's still married and it was just so great and so wonderful. And that's all he saw it as is I had a great lunch with a great woman and hopefully she'd give me a piece of ass. Right. And if she doesn't, that sucks. How this uh, married person is looking at you is look like this person is seasoned like um, they have had side chicks or side dicks for many 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 years and I don't really see them in rapture about this connection at all right they're like hey it would be nice to see you um, now the way that your person cancer or vice versa uh, this is how if you are dealing with the cancer whoever is married the married person is looking at you like we are going to kick it together until you get it and to you until the lights come on and you realize I'm never leaving so your person expects you to leave once you get it right so I was reading for this Scorpio for four years who was dating this Taurus um, and the Taurus had a live-in lover who was a Pisces and had my Scorpio client believing that in any day now she would be bumped up to his main woman 
Well, why is that a privilege? You see what he does. See, whoever this man is who is cheating, he's not cheating because something is wrong in the relationship. He's cheating because he's a cheater, right? And so this is what he does. I mean, you, you, uh, someone who steals can give you all kind of reasons why they stole, but whatever the reasons for it, uh, they're still a thief, you know? So this person is a cheater. And if they're with you, they're going to cheat. And they cheat on their wife. They cheat on their side chicks. And it looks like your person is, is looking at you as um, someone that, if you guys are sexual with each other, someone that they love to have sex with. Um, but uh, they feel like they already have a wife. They're not looking for a wife. They're looking for a piece of ass and maybe some good times, good dinner, and some good conversations until you get tired of being... The the other woman and he will simply replace you maybe try and call you back to see if you're willing to get back into the position of side chick but if you are not then he will kindly move on and how would he feel about moving on uh, well she feels like well you made your choice what can I do you know next the fool that's how that married man feels about you Right. So, yeah, this one nut in the comment section was talking about how she moved back home to be with um, this married man who's been married for 40 years. Girl, he ain't leaving his wife. <laughs> you think a man is going to leave a 46 year relationship <laughs> for what? I mean, unless you bring it like Rihanna or Beyonce or Bill Gates, like you, this, why would somebody do that? That don't make no sense. So anyway, yeah, that is what I see here. Okay. Is there anything else I wanted to say? Um, how many minutes is 16 minutes? Yeah, I guess that's about it. Yeah. That, that's pretty much about it. I've already told you guys about this married man, but I understand some of you are still holding on because there's nothing else. But, um, yeah, I, I don't see the married man feeling anything for any of you side chicks. No, nothing, you know? Um, but look at how he feels about his wife. Yeah, I play around, but I love you. That's how he feels. I play around, but you're the one I love. All right, so, all right, Cancer, so we are going to do an extended reading, and if you want to see the extension, you can hit the, um, not you can hit the link in the uh, description box. It's going to say click below for the Cancer extended reading, and you could also click the link yeah, it'll take you to Vimeo or to my website where for a nominal fee, you can see this video. Subscribe. Thank you for watching. I love you, Cancers, and God bless.